Yes, hello, welcome to NEVS. Welcome to NEVS. Uh, we will hold this uh, press conference in English because of our external viewers. I will shortly introduce to you our president, Matthias Bergman, who will explain this cooperation with the Turkey about developing the Turkish national car. And after that, we leave open for, for questions. So please, Matthias Bergman. Our company is very much um, built on a belief that um, fossil fuels will end, but we will not be able to wait until fossil fuels end, because the environmental impact will be too severe. And we also know that out of the pollution, about uh, one third of the pollution comes from the car industry. So we as a car maker have a responsibility but we believe we can contribute to a change. But we also know that one company is too small. One country is too small when it comes to taking on this challenge. It means that um, we need to work with other countries. We need to work with other OEMs in the car industry, but also has to work with companies outside of the car industry to be able to actually make a change. This is the reason why we now for a number of months have been introducing a number of partnerships. So let me, before I go into the, the big news of today, give you a short recap. And the first is that now we have introduced three Chinese partners, two of them as owners and shareholders of NEVS, and one of them as a shareholder in our two joint ventures in China. And one is the city of Tianjin, giving us access to a market, access to a plant, an air, a market where we are now building our second production area and second R&D area. The second is um, SRIT, owned directly by the Chinese government and China Unicom. A partner also giving us ac access to the government uh, the regulatory systems, and also as part of China, Uni China Unicom, access to a lot of software engineers needed for the future connected cars. And in, in the joint ventures in China, we have Timsun, one of the largest IT companies in China, with a large pool of software engineers, also being able to contribute to a connected cars. This will require money, and we have um, two partners as of today, uh, financial partners, uh, where we have Bank of China and we have China Development Bank, um, giving us a, a base foundation to implement the business plan on top of the money that our owners have already committed and contributed. We have also signed a partnership with one of the largest companies in the world, one of the largest OEMs in the car industry, Dongfeng Motors. A partnership that are, are giving us synergies when we develop products, developing uh, platforms and, and architectures, and giving us synergies to share their resources in purchasing and also getting access to sales and distribution. But this partnership goes in both directions. Both of us win on it. We add different parts to this joint story. We are also now going into the next phase. We are debt free since over a month ago. Uh, we will uh, next week publish our interim report uh, showing that we are a financial stable company setting on to implement the vision. So the news of today. Um, in June, we signed the partnership with the Turkish government through um, the Turkish organization called Tubetak. Tubetak is um, a state-owned organization focused on, on research for the Turkish uh, country. This um, 
partnership um, as a focus to um, build the proud of the Turkish nation, the proud of, of um, Turkey to have their own national car. As of today, um, a lot of joint ventures with foreign companies or foreign companies by themselves produce and sell cars. But there is no Turkish car in the market. And Turkey, in the position where they are, as a link between Europe and uh, um, the Stan countries and uh, the Northern Africa and Middle East, are putting themselves also in a big context where the car industry is an important vehicle to develop the nation. And they have been looking for um, a partnership for, for quite long, have been evaluating uh, different OEMs and different uh, partners that can implement their, their vision. And we have been in discussion for them for quite a long time. But um, on the 28th of May, so, so starting June, we have an agreement. And on the picture behind me, you can see um, when we are signing with the president of Tubitak and also the uh, industry uh, minister of Turkey that is the sponsor of, of uh, the project. This um, cooperation uh, covers a number of areas. One area is the IP. The IP is um, the based on the architecture that uh, Saab 93 is built on. But this architecture is not going to look the same. It's not going to be the same um, components. But it's the same architecture that will be together with Tubitak and our engineering team developed into the national car. Um, so our engineering team here in Trollhättan will work very closely with the uh, engineering team uh, of um, Tubitak and other Turkish partners to develop their national car. We have already built a number of demonstration cars and the Turkish minister revealed them uh, yesterday. Uh, these are our cars with um, different powertrains, um, different body styles that are now being used outside Istanbul to demonstrate the, the project for, for partners in Turkey and, and um, building the foundation that they are now uh, moving on for. We will also support them in um, starting up the production. It's a green, greenfield investment where our knowledge of uh, running a car factory but also to build the foundation to selling and developing cars. So we are transferring knowledge. That means we can in that way also train Turkish factory builders, train their purchasing teams, uh, train their engineers to work hand in hand with, with us. For NEVS, this is an important part of implementing the vision. It means also for us, we will be able to uh, cooperate on purchase is one thing. When the Turkish government and for that the market and the volumes that we will be able to share components and share systems. We will also be able to share resources for product development as we will have the same base when we are uh, developing, even though they're going to be completely different product names. They're going to be uh, different products from customer perspective. But many systems and components will be the same, uh, giving uh, benefit for us. And also our uh, resources are quite different. Uh, with the cooperation of Tubitak, with over 8,000 engineers and a lot of PhDs and their laboratories, we can also add a lot of knowledge and resources that we are not having here. We can also utilize our resources, not only factories and laboratories, but also people to put them into work. So by that, it's an important part for us that uh, another nation, not only the Swedish government, the Chinese government, but now also the Turkish government, 
are standing up and share the vision that uh, shape a mobility for a more sustainable future. So this is an important step. Thank you. I want to introduce um, uh, Frank Smith. He will be the person in charge of this project as a commercial project leader. And um, we are now um, willing to take questions and after that individual interviews with you. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, thank you very much. And uh, with that, we uh, end the press conference and we uh, go over to uh, open the floor for questions. Thank you.